Are you a new seller on Amazon? Then this video is for you. Let's talk about exactly which categories are going to be unrestricted for you and that you need to start selling in right away. Hi, I'm Cassandra Barney with Profit Guru. I'm a teacher, mother of three, and Amazon FBA seller. Here at Profit Guru, we're dedicated to trying strategies out and continually improving our own software to help other Amazon sellers just like you. Welcome back to Profit Guru. Thank you so much for being here with me. Now, I remember that feeling of being a new seller. It wasn't that long ago that I opened up my account, I got my seller app, and I went to my first store to start sourcing. I spent four hours in that store and I found very few categories that were actually opened up to me and only one item did I end up leaving the store with that made a profit. So I know exactly how defeating of a feeling it is when you're a new seller and you can't find products to sell. So I wanna share with you guys 10 of the most common categories that are unrestricted to new sellers right off the bat. Now keep in mind, it is not a one size fits all. You could open up your seller account today, your friend could open up their seller account, and the same things won't be unrestricted for both of you. Nobody knows for sure exactly which categories are going to be unrestricted to you as a new seller, but these are the most common categories that I've been seeing doing some research. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that you're going to want to avoid big name brand and big niches. So things like Barbie, Hot Wheels, Legos, none of that will be unrestricted for you. You're really going to have to start smaller. There's a ton of products though that come from no-name brands. When I say no-name brands, I mean they're not big, huge brands like Crayola. So that's the first mindset you're going to wanna to put yourself into. Now the very first category that's open to new sellers is books. This can be a really good place that you can just get your feet wet. Go out, start finding some books that you can buy for cheap. Uh, you could go really anywhere. You could go to Goodwills. You could go to places like Ollie's that have really discounted books. Start going through them, scanning them onto Amazon and seeing which ones are selling more on Amazon than what you're buying them in the store. These are super easy to find and they're super easy to prep. So this is a great place to start. The next category that's usually ungated is the home and kitchen category. Now these are items like uh, utensils, spatulas, um, maybe some dish strainers for the sink, items like that that you would find around your home and in your kitchen. Usually those will be unrestricted for you right off the bat. Number three, is the arts and crafts category. Now with this, you're still going to wanna keep that big name brand out of the way. So Crayola, Rose Art, those types of crafts stay away from. But the smaller crafts, maybe you have a craft store local in your area. That's the type of stuff you're going to wanna to start scanning and that's the type of stuff that's probably going to be unrestricted for you to start listing. Number four is the pet supplies. Now with this, it's probably not going to be pet foods that are ungated to you because within each category, there are separate subcategories. So yes, pet supplies might be open for you, but the subcategories category of pet foods might not be. Uh, toys though probably will be. So things like dog toys or water bowls or collars, those types of items should be opened up for you to start selling. The fifth category is sports and outdoors. Now think about it. There are a ton of sports and there are a ton of outdoor activities that can happen. So this category is really big. It has a big umbrella under it. So if that type of stuff is interesting for you, start digging into this category. There is a lot of profit to be made in items that fall under sports and outdoors. Maybe you like to camp, look at the camping gear. Uh, maybe you like to play soccer, start looking at different soccer balls or just uh, little cones, any equipment like that that goes with sports. This is definitely a category that has a lot of possibilities for you. Number six is tools and home improvement. Now with this, uh, it's probably not going to be in your best favor to go to big stores like Home Depot. Instead, if you have like a smaller mom and pop tool store in your area, that's probably somewhere for you to go and start sourcing. Maybe even you can form some relationships with these owners where they might even start selling some things to you at wholesale prices because you'd be scratching their back and they'd be scratching yours. So you'd be helping out their business and they could be giving you a reduced price for that. So start looking at these smaller local businesses first before you start venturing over to the big name ones. 
Number seven category is lawn and garden. So with this, anything that has to do with gardening could be in there. Anything that has to do with your lawn could be in there. For instance, during the holidays, you know those inflatable blow-ups? A lot of times those are listed under lawn and garden. So this too is a really big category that there is a lot of profit to tap into even as a new seller. Number eight is office products. This is something that's typically open to new sellers and it's something that I feel like a lot of new sellers overlook. There are a ton of products that belong in the office category. So if you start doing some research about what these products are, you're going to find a lot of different products that you can source. Maybe you're looking at staplers, maybe you're looking at paper clips, maybe you're looking at pens, maybe you're looking at paper. Start hitting up the office sections when you're going into stores because you're going to be able to find a ton in that section that will be opened up for you. Number nine is musical instruments. Now I feel like this category isn't as tapped into as much because I feel like it gets overlooked. Uh, when people hear musical instruments, they probably think of like flutes and violins. That's not what I mean by the music category. Really what you're going to want to think of is parts that go with musical instruments. So maybe you're selling um, guitar books that have music in it. Maybe you're selling guitar picks. So items like that, those smaller items that go with the musical instruments, but not the actual musical instrument itself. And finally, the 10th category that should be opened up to you is the clothing, shoes, accessories category. Now, keep in mind, that doesn't mean the big name brands. So within that, you're not gonna be able to sell like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, uh, but the smaller names, or maybe even the no names, you know, different tags that you've never heard of that brand before. Those types of items, there will be a ton of those names that will be opened up to you in this category. So there you have it, the top 10 categories that should be opened up to you without any restrictions as a new seller. Like I said though, keep in mind that within the categories, there are different subcategories that should still be restricted but there is a ton that will be opened up for you right off the bat. You just need to be able to keep your eye out for it. Good luck in your sourcing and keep in mind, once you find items that are unrestricted and you start selling them, you're going to start seeing more and more categories and brands and subcategories start auto on gating. You just need to find the things that you can sell now and start selling them. Prove to Amazon that you're a good seller and then you're going to start to see a ton more categories open up for you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Subscribe to this channel so that you could be one of three to win one of our annual subscriptions to Profit Guru and I will see you next week. Bye.